Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about QGIS, or some people refer to it as QGIS. Um, I just want to talk about what it is, how we can download and install it, and uh, how we can get started using it. So, uh, with that said, first thing I'm going to do is just open my browser here and type in QGIS. And you see here a little description. So QGIS is a free and open source cross-platform desktop geographic information system application that supports viewing, editing, and analysis of geospatial data. So that's a mouthful. Basically, QGIS is a free desktop GIS software. So you might have heard of um, Esri's ArcMap and ArcPro. This is uh, sort of a free alternative to those desktop softwares. And I've actually used QGIS in the past a couple of years ago at a, at a prior job and um, it's fully capable software um, and I think it's great for beginners um, to get started with GIS especially if they don't have um, access to any Esri products uh, this is a great way to just learn about what GIS is um, so with that said let's hop over to their uh, official QGIS web page or website um, you see some info here, uh, we're interested in just downloading it, so i just head over here and click download now. Um, and this video is going to be for Windows, so you see right off the bat there's multiple different downloading download options we have here for Windows. Um, this QGIS in OSGO 4W, so OSGO 4W, the 4W stands for 4 Windows. Um, it's basically a geospatial package and QGIS happens to be one piece of software in this uh, package. Um, so this includes other things like GDAW and OGR and GRASS. Um, this is a little bit more advanced. We, for this video we don't need all of that stuff. It's just going to take longer to download and install. Um, so for now I'm just going to go with the standalone installer. So it says standalone, standalone installers from OSGO 4W packages. So it's basically just pulling out QGIS from this package. Um, and we're just gonna click download the 64-bit version. And just close this. And you can see it's it's uh, starting to download here. So uh, we'll pick this back up once the, uh, once the download is finished. All right, so that download is just, okay, the download just uh, finished. So I'm gonna click on it. Just click yes and we can actually close this now all right so we have a little uh, wizard installer so just click next here I agree next uh, we don't need any sample data right now and uh, yeah just let this install I, I think this is gonna take maybe five five to ten minutes so uh, we'll pick it back up once uh, once it installs all right, so uh, just finished installing. I'm gonna click finish, and okay, I think we got it installed. We have to just search for QGIS. I'm gonna pin this to my taskbar and just open it up and take a look at what this software looks like. Um, so, like I said, I, I have used this, but I haven't used it since the two dot version. So this three dot version is uh, is new to me. And Bucharesti, they always um, the releases they they put cool geographic locations so if, um, I'm not really sure where that is but uh, let's take a look while that's loading okay it's Romania interesting all right so this is QGIS this is what happens when you first open it up um, might look a little bit overwhelming there's a lot of stuff going on up here uh, let's just close that out Close all this crap out. All right, so we just have a new empty project. I'm just going to double click that. And you might be wondering, like, first I want to get like a base map. Like, uh, we need to get some data here. Um, so that's the first thing we need to do is get a base map. Um, so if you go to this X Y X Y Z tiles, you notice that there's this open street map. So this base map comes with uh, just a, a default installation of QGIS and this can be used for um, you know just as a base map um, but I was searching around the other day for other base maps um, 
uh, we could use other um, tile base maps that we can use. So I was on this website here. Um, so yeah, when I was using QGIS, I had to use a plugin, but um, this update 2019, now there's no plugin required. Um, and this is what I was showing you, the tile server, but down here there's just a bunch more. So I'm going to grab the Google Hybrid. Let's just take this one. And this is how you add these tile servers to QGIS. You just right click here, new connection, and then just paste in that link there and click OK. And I'm going to get rid of this one. Actually, I actually deleted the connection. I meant to just remove it from here, but that's all right. I'm going to use this um, Google Maps one. Oops, I pasted the wrong, I didn't paste the full link in there. Okay, and click OK. Why is it not save? Oh, I'm putting the U URL needs to go there. And let's just call this Google Earth Hybrid. Okay. And let's get rid of that. And just drag this in. All right, and now we have a, a Google Earth background. Um, so I think this is a good place to stop the, the video. And uh, in the next video, we'll just kind of talk about what, what exactly is here and uh, we'll, uh, maybe pull in some other data.